Mark Rakil on anchor. He had a very, very poor showing in the 400 meters yesterday. Alain Francic running a good 400. That's a very strong America's team in the men's 4x4. Four four. Greek team running out of lane 4. Russians in lane 5. They've run 303.73 this year. Asia in six. United States team, Jamel Ashley, Derek Brew, LaShawn Merritt, and Daryl Williamson. Williamson, an Olympic gold medal, and the anchor leg on the U.S. winning team in the Olympic Games. Gary Kakaya, the African record holder in the 400 meters. Oceania team out in lane nine. The U.S. of course holders of the world record from the Goodwill Games back in 1998. They also have the championship record here. And they've assembled a team that's probably capable of breaking that championship record. currently in third place by two points. They have won the four previous World Cup team titles on the men's side. And that string is finally broken. And they're away in the final event of this 10th IAAF World Cup in athletics. The men's 4 by 400 meter relay. The America's team in lane 3. The U.S. in lane 7. for the U.S. on the opening leg. And once again, remember when they hand off, they stay in lanes for the entire first turn and then break for the pole on the backstretch. Africa in good shape early on. They hand off just ever so slightly ahead of the U.S., but the America's team down in lane three, surely in first place, in the early going. America's followed by Africa and the U.S. That's Derek Brew, Olympic bronze medalist in the 400 and gold medalist in the 4x4 relay here at the Olympic Games two years ago. Michael Blackwood of Jamaica running sort of casually there in the uh, first position for the Americas. Challenged by Africa now. Africa will hand off that was I think Gary Kakai on the second leg so the U.S. still well back America's followed by Africa and that is LaShawn Merritt for the U.S. the winner of the 400 meter title yesterday LaShawn Merritt was at East Carolina but for about a minute and a half he uh he went pro after a very strong 400 meter indoor time, never ran a relay in college. Certainly ran them in high school, but he's closing the gap a little bit here and he's giving Daryl Williamson an awful lot of work to do as the Africa team now goes into the lead. Williamson anchoring the men's 4x400 for the U.S. here at the Olympic Games two years ago, but it's a big gap to make up. Williamson a very disciplined and well-schooled runner from Baylor. The school of 4 by 400 meter relay running. 
So now, even if the Europe Select team was disqualified, the United States would not win the title unless Daryl Williamson has some unbelievable sprint left in him down this final finishing stretch, which is not out of the question. Williamson lifting beautifully. Another Clyde Hart coached runner. Can he pass and win the title? Yes! Terrell Williamson coming from way back with 200 meters to go. Not fast enough to set the championship record, but enough for the nine points and the win. Now, if the Europe Select team was disqualified, the U.S. men win the title. LaShawn Merritt doing a nice job with the third leg. 45.03 average. So the U.S. men's 4x400 undefeated here in Athens. Here's the first exchange. America's really out well in that first leg. Leading nicely much of the race, but challenged by Africa. Africa getting the lead on the anchor and Daryl Williamson with a lot of ground to make up. And look at the way he just storms home with 100 meters to go. He had a lot to make up and he gauged it perfectly. Europe select team finishing fifth. So the U.S. will, men will lose the World Cup title by, I believe, four points. And Elaine Francique had to be surprised to hear and see and feel Daryl Williamson coming down in lane three and just out leaning him at the tape. Three hundredths of a second separating first from second. Africa finishing third. Elaine Francique checking the big screen saw that Williamson was coming. But Williamson had an incredible amount of momentum. Timed it perfectly and looked fresh as a daisy. Three flat 11, the winning time, United States over Americas and Africa, but unfortunately just not enough. With a couple of miscues and a few events, the U.S.